pharmacogenomics, genetic prophecy, these things are very important for our future. What do we mean by this? When you understand more about what genes actually do, and when you are able to do gene screening of people much more simply and at low cost, then it becomes possible to match people's genetic code with other people whose histories you know about. And that means we're able to say that someone has a greater risk of this or of that, or that there's an, a 90% a probability that someone will die by a certain age of a particular illness. It enables interventions to be made. It also enables us to, do, to, to be able to tell in advance which kinds of treatments will work best in what kinds of people with what kind of condition. And that's especially important with cancer, where we're using drugs which are so toxic that you can easily kill someone before you've cured the cancer. But with many of these treatments there's a third of people who will do very well and 70% who may do pretty badly and the big issue is which ones if you do know then it uh, then you can have great confidence about prescribing your toxic therapy and be certain that it's worth the pain I have seen many times people go through a treatment and they've said it was worse than death itself and then they've landed up dying of the cancer which is a double tragedy because it's wasted the very spare, as tiny amount of time that they have left. And what we need to do is to be much more sophisticated in our prescribing. And many drugs are only active in a certain number of people, fully active. And, uh, and that's why pharmacogenomics, pharmacogenomics, pharma to do with drugs, genomics to do with genetic code is such an interesting area for the future.